พุ่งรัฐทักษะดิพงอิสิ former director of Thailand's National Intelligence Agency this is a quote from an article he wrote now the Thai people understand America has chosen a side to support the anti-monarchist, which means to support the abolishment of Section 112, which means to interfere with Thailand's internal affairs and mess with what is, I'll translate the last word as sacred. In this video, we will discuss how fear and paranoia over foreign devils and the overthrow of the Thai Kingdom have been injected into the narrative of the kingdom's political conflict. You see, the rhetoric of nation haters has become outdated. The rhetoric being sold to the Thai people is now Thai Chad, traders, those people who sell out Thailand or betray Thailand with the purpose of overthrowing the kingdom of Thailand in exchange for power and money. Who are they supposedly selling the kingdom to? Well, the Americans, of course. You see, a tried and true brainwashing strategy for any government is to appeal to nationalism. Appealing to nationalism is to manipulate fear and paranoia. Manipulating fear and paranoia are to invoke racism and xenophobia. It is done in other countries, not just in Thailand. After all, in any nation on earth, the most reviled people are traitors. The Prajut Chan Ocha regime strategy in stomping out the opposition is as follows. The first phase, use the most sensitive topic in the Thai society, the monarchy, to entrap and imprison the leading activist. Hence, no leaders are left in the street. Then, use violence to strike fear. Water cannons, tear gas, and rubber bullets. Hence, many people are too afraid to come out. With this, the streets have been cleared. The COVID-19 pandemic also helps. The second phase, use cultural fear and paranoia to frame the foreign devils. The angle of Thai Cha selling out one's country or betraying one's country is highly potent and infectious in arousing anger and hatred. Hence, pro-government media and influencers attack academic and activist David Streckfuss, branding him a CIA agent embedded to stir up a rebellion to overthrow the kingdom. They also link him to pro-democracy activist Pai Dao Din, accused of Section 112. Lest majest. Next, go after academic James Buchanan, branding him another embedded agent and linking him to a pro democracy activist, Francis Pao Tong, accused of Section 110, crime against Her Majesty the Queen. As well, go after pro democracy activist, Luke Chon Tisha, link her to a certain agent, Esh, identified as Henry Breckton, formerly the US senior diplomatic advisor in Thailand. They revealed a leak line chat implicating both a romantic relationship and an espionage ring financed by the CIA because, you know, if you are going to go for it, let's just go Hollywood with it. People love a riveting story. Both Luke and the US Embassy have denied the story, with Luke saying it's a fake line chat. Furthermore, Dig up photos of student activists with foreign diplomats and paint a picture of the student activists being employed by those countries to overthrow the Thai Kingdom. Never mind that it's normal protocol for diplomats to meet with activists, academics and journalists to understand from different perspectives what's happening in Thailand. As they also meet with politicians, government and opposition. I have had lunch with many ambassadors. No one ever gave me money to do anything. In addition, data photos of diplomats who showed up to observe the cases against Nathan Chimu Lungkin and the former Future Forward Party, and likewise brand them as an international espionage ring to overthrow the Thai Kingdom. Because, you know, this is what a CIA-led international espionage ring does. Post for news media and social media group photos in broad daylight for everyone to see, click like, and share. 
The irony is, since World War II and through the Cold War, for better or worse, the Kingdom of Thailand is the Kingdom of Thailand and not a Soviet or Chinese Satellite Republic of Thailand because of the helping hand of the US of A. But the point is this. Now we have the pro-democracy movement linked to an international CIA-led conspiracy with the dot connected to the most vocal political threat to the Bayut regime, Tanaton, the Progressive Movement, and Move Forward Party, Evala, Kai Cha, selling out one's own country, betraying one's own country. In any nation on earth, the most reviled people are the traitors. Hence, the people would give the government a free hand in punishing traitors, turning a blind eye to any human rights abuse and injustice. In fact, many would cheer for human rights abuse and injustice. The Bayut regime does not need all ties or even the majority to believe in this narrative. It just needs enough. And so far, truth be told, it has enough. And that's why Thailand is in the situation we are in.